All right, welcome back. So today we're going to be completing some more of Heinz's demons. And I wanted to start out with this one because this is the only Heinz demon that I've beaten so far that I haven't recorded. And this is because this was a level I beat on my way to become like a better player. I remember when I beat this, this was my new hardest demon. And it was actually one of the most agonizing experiences I've ever had with a level thus far. And it has pretty much nothing to do with the level. Like I love this level so much. This is so much fun. And this both because I played it a lot more than I needed to because I got super unlucky with this. I remember I died at 97 and around that time my eyes started to really hurt and I couldn't play this game. I didn't know what was wrong. I was so freaked out. So, so I actually went to get my eyesight checked. My eyes were like blurry and watery and they hurt. But it just turned out that my eyes couldn't handle that much screen time. And you know, I was going to school at that time. I was looking at the computer all day and coming home playing GD, looking at the computer all day. I just needed to give my ass some rest, you know. At that point, it was really bad. So I had to like wait a couple days before I could play this again. After like a couple days, I could start playing again, but I had to limit my time. And then I slowly increased it, you know. Then I could only play for 20 minutes, then 30, then 40 minutes a day. Until eventually, I uh, beat the level. And I actually remember the, the session where I beat it. I got 97, again, died the exact same way. And then five minutes after I beat it. And I was so happy. So uh, despite this demon's rating, I would say that this is a medium demon. It's a pretty tough medium demon, I would say. Like, don't get me wrong. A lot of people think this is a hard demon. I don't understand why. This is so clearly a medium demon to me. Like, it is a pretty tough one. But, it, like... This is not a hard demon. Nowhere near. A bit of a struggle with learning this. It's not like learning a medium, an, an easy demon. And it's certainly not like learning a hard demon. I'm not having that much of a hard time with it. This gameplay is so awesome. I love this. Damn, man, you have to like fall into that portal. Well, sometimes you come out of there too high. And I thought I thought I went too far. God damn it. That was a good attempt, you know. So yeah, that, that gameplay with the slopes and the jump rings. Um, there's like some of the jump rings that are under slopes. You can't like buffer your input. You have to press right on the jump, ring, jump rings or else it just you won't uh, or else it just won't work. And it's just so fun. It's like a perfect example of uh, how good Heinz gameplay can be, you know. That part is so fun and it's so neat because you don't see things like that usually. It's pretty much that part I played in Breakthrough just perfected. Like that, these ball timings here are so medium demonish. Oh fuck. I will admit that that UFO part there is pretty hard. But there is a trick to it. Once you come into the part you do, you click immediately at the UFO, right? And then after that, you don't do one input, you do two inputs and then do them early. So you like smash the top and then you will fall down nicely so you can get through, you know, the, the next jump consistently. But also that part will seem a lot harder because then the timings are much tighter if you don't do that. Okay, I've been playing for like two and a half hours. I think uh, it's time to stop.
And there you go. That's Dance Magica. This level didn't take me that long. I spent like 28 attempts in normal mode here, and I also spent about 20 attempt, 28 attempts earlier, so that's 56 attempts. Plus 143, like a little over 200 attempts. But it's because I vividly remember this level. I remember this because it was the first level that gave me a really, really hard time. I think I spent around 7k attempts on this level and like two weeks on it. So this level is very, very special to me because uh, even through all the unlucky circumstances, I really, really enjoyed my time with this level. And it's just, it's just so great. Like this is one of my favorite levels of all time. And I had a really fun time uh, repeating this. The gameplay is just so fun. Like I have next to no complaints. It looks pretty good, maybe a bit outdated now. It's a really early 2.0 level, I think. I actually think most of this was built in 1.9 and then they updated it with some 2.0 deco. It looks like a weird mixture between 1.9 and 2.0, but it sort of has own unique charm by it and I I don't think it, it looks bad by, by any stretch of the means. You know, the gameplay is really the star of the show here, and the gameplay is really, really great. And this level is so good to make a bet at the game. It's a medium demon, not a hard demon. If that was a hard demon, I just did a hard demon in 200 attempts. But I haven't played it in like three years. Like, come on, that's not a hard demon. All right, so for the next Heinz Demon, I think we're gonna do Spectrum Switch. I've never, I don't believe I've ever seen this level before, not even a video of it. So I have no clue what this is. Probably a first because I think I've seen videos of all the other levels. Maybe Taken, I don't think I've seen a video of that either. This one has kind of a different vibe to it. It's a 2.0 level, aha. Uh -huh. I'm already liking this even though I have no idea what the fuck is going on. I'm very confused right now. Can you even get up to that jump ring? What? Okay, I think I got it now. You. Hit these two early. And I'll just get up there. Yeah. What the fuck is going on here? Ah, I understand now. It's like the same thing. You will think. One, two, one, one, two, one, two. Aha. Uh -huh. This level is very, very different from Heinz's usual levels. I gotta say that. First and foremost, there hasn't been any ball parts yet, but like tough timings. This is not easy to figure out. And I'm loving the, uh, the slope gameplay in this one. <laughs> okay. That's a very, very learning level. I have no clue. Am I, am I even doing it right? Yeah. That's what you need to do. So you go early on these three inputs and these two orbs, and then you just hit this one late. Okay, that wasn't, it isn't actually that hard. It's just, just like learning. Once you got it, you got it. This is another one of those parts that you just like have to understand. Yeah, because right now this makes no sense to me. Okay, but here it seems like if you hold down the button, that carries you along nicely. So you hold down until the blue pole. That seems like the best way to do it. Like once you figure out the click pattern, the um, timing say yeah, actually pretty forgiving. That is by far one of the strangest. It's such a weird wave pattern. I kind of like how it flows, man. When you when you start getting it, man, it's so satisfying. Okay, so I've learned every part now. Let's uh, try and do some runs and I think I'm ready to go into normal mode soon. 50 to 100. How does Heinz find so many good songs on new grounds? I swear to god, every single song he uses, I just like a lot. But I mean, part of that enjoyment also comes with like great gameplay, great music sync to the song. It just like does the song like justice in GD. Let's see if we can do something in normal mode. I'm not quite sure though, I've been playing for a while now. <clears throat> Hey, that was good. Cool. Oh shit, that was so close to being a flu. But I kind of like knew that like this this ball section was gonna be a problem. This ball section is pretty difficult, man. 
the gameplay is just very very fast paced and there's a lot of like timings here. Man, this part right here is really messing up my finger. I think I gotta put the up key into practice here. Like I'm really consistent at the second half and the second half is much easier than the first half. But the problem right now is just my finger is just completely exhausted whenever I get to the second half. Nice. Think we did it here? Yes, we did. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why did I say that? You just gotta believe in yourself in that moment. I actually almost died at the three last orbs because I kind of wanted to hit them with the up key, but then I changed my mind. I really gotta do some more exercises with my hands. Like I've been slacking on those recently and I think it's calling, it's catching up to me because my finger is just like not doing too well. All right, so uh, this was a fantastic level. Despite the finger pain, a lot more learning than Heinz's usual levels are. But when it all comes together, it flows really well. This level is so good. This probably is one of my, it's up there with one of my favorite Heinz demons. Heinz pu pushes himself out of his comfort zone a lot more in this level, I feel like. I think like, he switched it up because usually Heinz levels has a lot of like tough ball timings. Didn't use the ball as much here. Like I love all Heinz gameplay, but this one was just like unique and different and I didn't expect that. Initially when I came into this level, it was a bit frustrating and overwhelming because it was a lot more learning than Heinz's usual levels. And I was like, I don't know about this. But I mean, as soon as you start figuring out the little do's and don'ts and uh, the little gameplay techniques, it just comes together and you just immediately start having fun. At the end of it, it was just a blast to learn and a blast to play afterwards. I mean, it's just, it's just that sweet spot again with Heinz's gameplay. Um, I would say that this is around a average hard demon difficulty. Um, so 1381 plus 288. 1669 attempts but yeah this level i can't recommend it enough and the same goes for dance massacre so what do we have here so we have one hard demon left taken and then we have uh two insane demons and then i've done all the heinz demons thank you for watching you have a good day mate and uh, i'll see you bye